Hi everybody, this is Linda with Linda's Babies, <clears throat> and I have a box opening today. Um, this is my newest baby from Kimberly Nystrom, and this is one of her latest sculpts. It's um, the Maggie doll. Now I haven't opened anything, um, I'm just opening it now. Let's see, I think this is just a just a thank you note and a packing slip. I have a little card in here. This should be her certificate. Yeah. This is her certificate of authenticity. And this is the Maggie sculpt, and she's number 5 out of 50. She was born September 12th, 2015, and she's by Kimberly Nystrom. That's beautiful. Now if I can get it back in the envelope here. Okay. I love the little footprint sticker she has right there. <clears throat> my throat is a little crazy today, so my voice is kind of gravelly. Anyway, this is what it looks like inside. I see a little package. Kim always sends her little babies with a little bag like this. <clears throat> oh, and it has a little hat in it and a little disposable diaper. Looks like a Pampers and a little tiny white bottle. Look at that. Okay, now let's get to the baby. Okay. Now this is going to be hard because she packages her babies quite well <clears throat> in bubble wrap with tape, but we'll see what we can do here. I got it right here on my lap. I think I may need to get a little pair of scissors to um, cut that tape very carefully. We'll see if these will work. I usually have a different pair, but I don't see them. <clears throat> this is going to be hard to do. <laughs> okay, we've got that part open. And now inside, she always puts her little babies in a little baggie and tapes it up. So we'll see if we can cut that tape or pull it. There. I'm so excited to see this little one. She looks so cute in her pictures. <clears throat> Kimberly always um, packages her babies really nice. Sorry if it's out of frame. I'm trying to get it open. There we go. Oh, I can already see her little tiny face. Okay. Come on out of there. There we go. Oh, she's got a little bow on her head. Look at that little tiny face. She's not as tiny as I thought she was going to be. Look at that little face. Isn't that adorable? With a little bow on her head. And she's tied with a ribbon. How adorable is that? A little pink ribbon. And she's wrapped in a little yellow terry cloth. Um, baby washcloth. That's what Kim uses for blankets for the babies and I love it because they're just the perfect size and they're just the perfect thickness and everything. Okay, here we go. There she is. Oh my gosh, isn't she adorable? Now this baby was sculpted with a little tiny um, umbilical cord with a little tiny cord clamp on there, like and when a baby is is first born. Oh, and she's got the cutest little scrunched up face. She's got a little bit of lint on her from the washcloth and stuff. And she's a little bit, just a little bit sticky from her journey, but you know, it's been hot around here, <clears throat> and so probably the heat has affected her. But I'm going to give her a bath in a little bit after I look her over. She's got some more fuzz on her finger. And um, then she'll, and I'll powder her. And then she won't be sticky. Yeah, her little arms are sticking to her. 
Now let's take off her diaper and see what she looks like. There we go. Sorry if all you can see are my hands, but oh look, she's a little girl. Oh dear, what a little sweetheart. Isn't she just precious? she got a bow on her face. Look at those little tiny hands and the little tiny feet. And her coloring is so beautiful. And she's so full of detail. Her detail is unbelievable. Doesn't that look like a real baby laying there? It does to me. Just a very, very tiny one. I've always liked little tiny things, like little tiny replicas of, of like dollhouse type things. I've always loved things that were very realistic, but very tiny. I guess miniatures is what I want to say. I've always loved those kinds of things ever since I was a little girl. And this little girl is just precious. Yeah, and the little cord clamp, I believe, is just, I have to look at it just a minute. Yeah, it's just painted. It's uh, molded that way, and then the cord clamp part is painted white to look like a real cord clamp. But I think that is so cute. And let's see. Yep, she has a little open mouth. Kim always opens the mouths on her dolls. And this baby has the ball-jointed neck so that her head will turn. And right now it's not going to turn very well because it's a little bit sticky. But we'll fix that right up with a little bit of cornstarch. She is just adorable. And Kimberly, I love the little bow on her head instead of a little hat. I think that's so cute. But thank you for sending a hat along because those are always nice to have for the babies. And she has an extra diaper, an extra pamper, her little hat, whoops, sorry, an extra pamper, her little hat right there, and her little bottle. And that is just precious. And I happened a few years ago, before I started collecting these little miniature dolls, there was a little, um, somebody was selling a little lot of little tiny things on eBay, little tiny baby doll things. And in amongst it was some little tiny pacifiers. And they fit these little silicones just so perfectly. And I've been using them for my babies and I have one waiting for her. So Maggie has one too. And she has some little um, clothes waiting for her. However, looking at her, I know they're not gonna fit. <laughs> but we'll find some more to fit her. She's just so precious. Well, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.